Hey everybody, I'm gonna make a short video. I did an upgrade onto my truck. We're gonna call it an upgrade slash mod. The 90 millimeter BBK throttle body. I do not recommend it. You shouldn't buy it unless your truck or vehicle is heavily modified. And we're not talking about bolts on. We're talking about engine modifications. So like cams, pistons, the block, the heads are all customized. This is a 90 millimeter. If you get probably the, well, I think it's what, 84, 85 from BBK, maybe you won't have an issue like I had with this 90. I have bolt-on parts. I do have a handheld tune. I have an air filter, aftermarket, exhaust, and that still, with that being done, this was giving the, the truck problems. It was running lean and a rough idle or a high idle. So I got the, I took the truck to the dealership to get tuned. And what I mean by tuned is to um, get it reflashed for the throttle body to, the computer for it to learn the new throttle body. So they had to reset the idle for the throttle body. And even with that being done, the check engine came back on, but this time threw me more codes that it was running too lean on bank one and a different bank also. So I decided to take it off, put the stock one back on. Thank God I didn't throw that out. And I'm going to return this back. So I called BBK also before I did this return. And they even said that this 90 millimeter is not meant for just bolt on parts. You should get a custom tune plus get motor work done. Plus your headers, your wide pipe, your exhaust. Uh, air intake and all of all of it is for the 90 millimeter if you just got a stock hemi and just some little bolt on here and there don't get the 90 millimeter the reason why i'm so upset is because americantrucks.com says that they recommend the 90 millimeter just in case you do some aftermarket parts in the future don't believe that Stick with the 84 or just stick with stock because to be honest, the, uh, the amount of gains of horsepower and torque is not justifiable for the price. This is $500, probably the cheapest you can probably find at $450. Or if you can buy it used, maybe around $200. But even with that being said, you do not get a lot of horsepower and torque out of this. Yeah, can you probably feel a slight uh, throttle response? Probably, but it's not worth the money. I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste your money on this. I'm going to return this back, my money back, and I'm not doing this ever again. Not even going to bother. For one, I do want to do headers and wide pipe on my truck, but even with that being said, it's not justifying the prices. And then to basically, this will force you to get motor work done when you don't even want to, for one. Then you got to get a tune to get it dyno tuned. So like this is going to make you call, pay out more money to upgrade other components just for this to work correctly. So don't do it. If I was you, I wouldn't even mess with any throttle body and just leave the throttle body alone. Because even if you go for an 84, 85, if you, my vehicle needs to learn the new idle that it needs to be at because the diameter of the plate has changed. And because it's electronics, it's more of a pain in the ass compared to wires. Wires, it's just, it's different. You just press the pedal and the, the wires get pulled and opens the butterfly, you know, sideways and that's it. But because it's computerized, everything is done into the ECU or ECM and it's set by the dealership or, or the, the, the brand who, the manufacturer who makes it. So once you change things around, it starts throwing you a whole bunch of codes. And because it goes into check engine light, it goes into safe mode. Once it goes into safe mode, you're actually going to lose horsepower and torque. But all that money that you put into your truck or your vehicle, you're going to lose all that horsepower and torque because a check engine light, because of a throttle body. So don't do it. Um, I haven't posted my truck yet on YouTube. But I've been trying to basically get as much as I can get done so you guys can be like, oh, okay, and I can talk about it and make the videos interesting. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Yes, my channel is mostly about sports bike, but I do everything. I do, you know, work on my trucks or my truck, my bike. I want to get more, more motorcycles. I would like to get another vehicle. 
Um, I just don't want really to put that much money into my truck because the truck is just to tow the bike around back and forth and to get me to work. So, but I, lo I love my truck to the point where, yeah, I want to put aftermarket parts, but this is one that kind of put me in on turn off where I don't want to put no more money into my vehicle because it's, it's more of a problem than I need. This electronic stuff is more of a pain in the ass than the old school stuff. And BBK doesn't have it figured out yet. And it's just, I, it wasn't worth it. So I hope I was able to help somebody out. If, you're like, if you like the video, put a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you got any questions, put it in the comments below. And again, I got this on Amazon. For It was used, but don't get me wrong. The throttle works because the plate actually moves. It's just the truck does not like a 90 millimeter and bbk even said this that most likely it's just the truck not being happy with this whole situation so anyways if you if you have a comment put it in the comment below everybody drive safe ride safe and i'll catch you guys on the next video